Okay, so this is uh, Carolyn and Timmy here. Uh, we're going to be talking to you about our new Wellpreneur group coaching program. It's a 21-day online program uh, designed for Wellpreneurs, so that is wellness entrepreneurs just like us. So we're going to talk to you a little bit today about ourselves and uh, why we are offering this program and what you can expect in the program. Perfect. So, yeah. Okay, so between the both of us, we have, I don't know how many years of entrepreneurial experience, everything in the wellness sphere, spanning from fitness to yoga, to just straight up event planning, um, teaching energy healing courses, we both own our own schools, run our own schools, I, I own the Mind Body Reiki School of Energy Healing, I teach Reiki crystal healing courses and other and other energy healing courses and I'm always adding to the mm -hmm. schedule and um, you teach yoga teacher trainings and meditation teacher trainings yeah. and um, and throughout all of that we've dabbled in many other wellness careers oh, yeah. and <laughs> so throughout the years I think we've both been asked a lot of the same questions yes and um, one thing I've noticed is wellness entrepreneurs and that's everybody from personal trainers to fitness instructors who want to work full-time as fitness instructors which I have done and I'm doing um, to people who want to be nutritionists or energy healers, massage therapists, all of that. They yeah. they have some unique problems that are quite unique to the wellness industry. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, a, a, on top of the fact that it is business. So this is a business coaching course. We're mm -hmm. also going to address the unique things that wellness entrepreneurs yes. um, also yeah. struggle with. Yeah. And, and everything we've encountered yeah. over our let's say 20 plus years of experience yeah. in this industry. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think ultimately what everybody wants to know is, can you actually make a living doing this kind of work, mm -hmm. doing what you love? Yeah. Um, and the answer is yes, you yeah. absolutely can do that. I mean, there's, you can do what you love, whether it's knitting or landscaping or teaching meditation. It, and from a business perspective, they're all kind of the same, yes. but it's unique for wellpreneurs, especially since, um, in the realm of wellness, there is a little bit of a gray area when we start to touch mm. on more spiritual topics like Reiki and meditation, especially, yes. and yoga, where people start to get um, a little bit icky with their yeah. limited Do what, beliefs. Should I charge for this? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. So so that's that's what we, we want to offer. So this mm -hmm. course is really good for you, especially if you're still in the beginning phases of your business where you mm -hmm. just have an idea yeah. and you want to really just get started so that you can get your business going. Absolutely. Or if you've been in business for a while. Um, and it's not really getting anywhere and you yes. really just want to supercharge where you're at. So it's exactly. going to be like a three week incubator, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So what are the, what are some of the things that, uh, okay. Wanna... Yeah. Let's talk about the, how the course is actually structured. So it's all online. So yeah. we talked a little bit about that. We're actually going to be, uh, doing a fully engaged, uh, group coaching. So you're going to have accountability partners, uh, there's going to be weekly topics, and so that's what I'll touch on next. Uh, but where you're going to find the most success is in the fact that you're going to be joining other like-minded wellpreneurs. So mm -hmm. you're going to be joining a tribe of people who are exactly like you. Exactly. Yeah. And the best part about that is the networking aspect, which a lot of people, uh, I don't think, especially in the beginning, you don't really see the value in networking. Mm -hmm. You have no idea, oh, yes. no idea who your next partner is going to be or how you can help other people and they can help you as well. Yeah. Um, especially if you feel like your industries are kind of separate mm -hmm. that, in a way, you know, yeah. I mean, definitely from one yoga teacher to another, you can be helpful, but a yoga teacher with a holistic nutritionist, oh, um, yeah. I mean that the, the possibilities are endless exactly. with the way that you could share your services. Yeah. So. All of the collaboration opportunities are just, yeah. Yeah. Countless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about the three weeks okay. and how it's set up. So uh, the first week, uh, we're going to be really diving into your why. And so most people who have started a business really do have some idea of their vision, but we are going to solidify it. We're going to uh, put it into uh, really strong terms. So you're going to know without a doubt what the soul of your business and your vision really is. And this is really important because it's not enough just to say that you enjoy something yeah. and you want to help other people yes. and you want to make money doing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not enough. No. Everybody wants to do those things. Mm -hmm. um, and those are, they're too broad <clears throat> and too vague. But if you can really uh, hone in on that sticking point, the thing that will mm -hmm. 
really make you do it because this is business and this is work. I mean, you may still enjoy it, um, but it, it's work all the same. Yes. So this is the thing that's really going to guide you. And it's also going to help niche you down totally. because, you know, uh, how many herbalists are there in the city, right? Yes. But why would they want to work with you? What is mm -hmm. it specific to you, Absolutely. et cetera? Yeah, so that all comes down to your vision. Absolutely. And it also, um, so with my individual uh, coaching clients, what we really use our vision for is decision-making. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you, you, you maybe aren't uh, aware of all of the time, that every decision you make, you are coming from some source of vision. And uh, so when we get really clear on our vision, our decisions become like that. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Yeah, we, we make decisions out of abundance. The fear is gone. Yeah. And so if, if you're somebody who's been struggling with that, uh, it will really help clarify that for you. Yeah. And th that's perfect because ultimately um, what, what can happen too is you can paint yourself into a corner. You can create mm -hmm. this uh, amazing business, which actually works, but it doesn't work for your life. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, especially if you have kids um, or if you have, if you're caring for someone or, or anything, or if you just, you just like to travel a lot, that's just your lifestyle. Um, you have to be aware of what your vision is. Otherwise yes. you're just going to have to abandon your business in the end. It's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's week one. So yeah. that's all that we cover in week one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's big. So week two um, is all about actually getting into the fundamentals of your business. So we're going to be tackling limiting beliefs that are holding you back in your business. We are going to be diving into uh, creating, like, understanding your business structure and how it's actually going to function. Yeah. So think like a mini business plan, but uh, more like a blueprint for how you're going to operate uh, in the world. And, and you'll really get a keen sense of um, how to structure your business and all of those fundamentals. So you get to draw on our experience with that. We have a lot of experience starting businesses, mm -hmm. and we know it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. And but most importantly, we, we've maintained our business. Yes. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. and the, the, yeah. the, the thing with that with this part is um, structuring the business and what are your services? What are you going to sell? And that's yeah. going to be based on your strengths, which is ultimately going to be based on your vision. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's what you really, really want to do, what you want to accomplish, what you can actually do, what you're really, really good at. Yes. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I always like to say follow the money, right? Mm -hmm. um, and also listening to that feedback. And then, you know, creating a unique service and making sure mm -hmm. that it's something that you can do because um, with wellness business, no matter what it is, you can you can you have the luxury of making it entirely online, regardless of what you're into. You can be completely online, or you can be completely offline, or mm -hmm. you can have a mix of both. Yeah. And it's it's gonna change depending yes. on you know your comfort and your skill set. But you have to start with where you're at, and I think that's where a lot of people struggle. Yes. Is they don't even know what to offer. Everybody thinks, for example, as a Reiki practitioner, that okay, I mean, I guess I have to rent a space, yeah, and I have to do this. But um, there's so many more. There's options. so many other things that you could. Do. Do mm -hmm. within the realm of energy healing far beyond just what you would typically think of. Absolutely. Right? So, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's week two. So you can see how we're progressing through uh, bringing vision into reality. And so week three is going to be a big one. And uh, we're going to be covering social media, advertising, authentic sharing. So really learning how to take your authentic voice, find it for mm -hmm. one thing, and then share it with yeah. the world. And this is the big one too. And a lot of people always like to start with that. Like their big question for me anyway, when I have coaching questions, it's like, how do I get more people to find out what it is that I do? Mm -hmm. And there, <laughs> a spoiler alert, there's no magic formula. There's no magic billboard in the city that everyone's going to that you're not aware of. Um, and, you know, my next question usually is, well, what exactly is it that you're selling? Yeah. You know, and 50% and of the time they don't even know. So... Mm -hmm. Why? But assuming we've gotten through all of that, which you will have by week three, um, then it gets really, really fun because social media is super, super, super yes. powerful. Yes. And we're going to teach you how to share your message authentically in mm -hmm. a way that feels good and it feels right to you so that it will just come through organically. Absolutely. In, in the words that you say, in the way you talk to people casually, and especially with, with your social media. Mm -hmm. And as well, there are some rules like Facebook and Instagram. They have rules, they have algorithms, and those are things that yeah. you know you do need to be aware of and um there's so many other platforms so mm -hmm. it's a fun one yeah um yeah <laughs> it's I, a fun I enjoy one that. but it's yeah. it's definitely the one that I get the most questions yes. about and and I yeah we have to kind of peel back the layers first and yeah. really make sure 
we start. Yeah. Um, I really liked what you were you were saying about uh, sharing your message authentically. So I like to use the analogy of a lighthouse. So you're you you create yourself as a lighthouse, and uh, you shine your message. So this is where we will teach you how to actually be very authentic in your message. So you get to be this beacon of, um, of authenticity and all of the people that be attracted to you. So rather than us chasing people down, and this is one of the most common misconceptions, um, you will have the opportunity to actually be a resource for other people and to be that shining light. And uh, so we're going to really teach you how to find your voice and become that light. Exactly, because people want to work with you, and they want to work with you specifically, yeah. okay? Like, it goes without saying that there are uh, countless personal trainers and countless nutritionists and countless massage therapists in the city, so why are some more successful than others? Um, it all boils down to the fact that people are aware that they exist, mm -hmm. and, you know, when you're already rooted in what you're offering and you're confident in that, which is predicated on you finding a strong vision so that you're confident and you're not, you know, you're not scatterbrained about anything, then it makes it really, really easy for the clients who really want to work with you to find you, yes. and then the ones who are not suited to you to go, go elsewhere. Yeah. And that's what's really important because, yeah, we're not chasing people down and we're not looking for the crowd and just throwing flyers at people. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, it, again, it's not going to be just all about social media. There's so many different ways to get your Absolutely. message out. Um, you know, and then creating those sacred boundaries. Like there are a lot of, for example – opportunities when you start becoming a group fitness or a yoga instructor mm. to do a lot of free work right which can be valuable yeah. to a point yes <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah where yeah exactly yeah. where are your boundaries and yeah and, and you and you have to create that and you have to and again if you know what it is ultimately that you want to offer and you know what mm. your vision is then it'll be really easy I yes. still do volunteer work from time to time but not close to what in the beginning I remember yeah. the moment when I realized I'm like this is the last time I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> do that yeah. I don't need to do that anymore and it's it's no longer serving me or anybody else. Exactly. Um, again, I still always I, I'm happy to volunteer once yes. in a while. But yeah, but it's coming from a different place, yeah. right? You know, when you come from a place of abundance, so yeah. you're already feeling the abundance rather than going, okay, I'm going to do this because I want to get something. Absolutely, it's a, it's a totally different place. Yeah, and if you're not careful for those boundaries, I know people who um, are still many, many, many years later giving away their services for free yeah. because they don't even know how to receive. All they yes. know is, um, you know, just giving everything away. And even yeah. not even just within the fitness realm, like with public speaking, um, if you sell information, if you are a nutritionist, then I'm sure you're going to want to give a lot of free talks here and there. So yeah. how many is too many? How long is too yes. much? You know, and, it, and that, again, that all goes down to what we'll have covered in the previous weeks. Absolutely. But that's all part of marketing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, and it all fits together so nicely. And we, we were actually talking a little bit about this yesterday where, you know, you, instead of giving everything away for free, we have to have a way to receive. And so it's it's very important that we go through all of these steps that mm -hmm. we're outlining and in this order, because we're going to be creating um, abundance rooted in vision. And you're gonna have an, uh, an opportunity then to receive and then continue the cycle of giving and receiving. And uh, that's really what being a wellpreneur is all about. You know, we're not in a different line of business, we're in the, the business of wellness. And what that really means is that we are allowing the flow of wellness. And so yeah. both giving and receiving. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a small snippet of yeah. what you can <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. to cover. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're part of our group, most of the action will happen on the Facebook group. You're going to have access to an online portal where you'll download a bunch of materials as well. Um, you'll have access to Carolyn and I. You can yes. we'll laser coach with you. We'll be there on the page every day. Yeah. And this is a 21-day program. And with your tuition, you get lifetime access to the group. Mm -hmm. And we will be running this group regularly throughout the year. So every time we run through the group, you can participate with us yes. as well. Yeah. And then as you grow in your business, you may even have the opportunity to share your experience with yeah. new um, students as well. Yeah. And continue the network. Yeah. You know, we said we're, we're building a tribe. So yeah. we're not just abandoning you after the end of no, this. You no, are, and, you're part uh, of it. And the, the important part with business is learning how to play well with others as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned um, because business is business. And uh, a big mistake people make is assuming because we're in the business of wellness that mm -hmm. everyone's automatically going to be nice and kind and nobody's going to make mistakes and everyone's going to just like like you're safeguarded from all of the things right. that people usually struggle with in business it's not no. it's no different <laughs> no. from the like i used to work in the mommy baby industry and you would think that in an industry that's sold 
-hmm. you know, breastfeeding covers and warm, nurturing things for babies that we would all be nice and kind and consider. Business is business. Trust me on that. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's all the same. Exactly. So there, there are rules, um, and there is that <laughs> consideration. So, uh, again, with the unique filter of being a wellness entrepreneur, a wellpreneur, yeah, um, but still steeped in <clears throat> strong business foundation. So Perfect. our intention for you is to be able to do exactly what it is that you want and to be wealthy doing yes. so. Absolutely. Whatever that looks like for you. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So we look forward to seeing you. Uh, our program starts October 11th and uh, runs for 21 days. So till October 30th. And yeah, so make sure you share this with your fellow wellpreneurs and we will see you soon. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs>